equal sign. who take steps and those who make the great leap forward those who stay as they are and those that become more than they ever thought possible they discover explore compete and are fearless there are those satisfied by common pursuits and those for whom the extraordinary will never be enough. So ask yourself, will you step? Gentlemen, this is the Xbox E3 2015 briefing. Please welcome from 343 Industries, Bonnie Ross. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of everyone here at Xbox, it is an honor to welcome you to E3 2015 and to continue the tradition of what this show has always been about. The characters, the games, and the stories that people love. In 2015, we are delivering the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. A lineup that includes new and innovative IP, groundbreaking indie games, blockbuster franchises, and of course, the best exclusive games launching this year. today with the first Halo game. Thank you, that's right. That's where I want to hear the applause. Built from the ground up for Xbox One. And the game that fulfills both the promise of the Halo universe and the power of Xbox One. Master Chief, hero or traitor? Spartan Locke, friend or foe? Epic worlds, epic battles, epic scale. This is Halo 5 Guardians. Xbox One exclusive. Not just another target, you know. Every target is just another target, Buck. 0631 this morning. Master Chief was declared absent without leave. I'm a Spartan now, sir. I know who you are. Yet now you hunt another Spartan. The greatest of your clan. Every other Spartan, every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him. find the stronghold. That is where you'll find the Master Chief and the Guardian he seeks. Let's move. Bale, keep an ear on car. Affirmative. Buck, Danaka, defensive position. I will never bow to infidels. <laughs> Oh, 
Locked. We sure the chief came this way? Let's see. Activating the Artemis. Gotta read it. Veil, do you see this too? Let me take a look. Chief's assault rifle. No ammo. Then the Master Chief's been through here. Which means he has a head start on the Guardian. Let's get moving. Fighting for this moment a long time, Bale. The Covenant's finally breaking. There's the Guardian. You think the Chief's already on board? Watch out! Keep your head down and run! Inside a crumbling building. Better than the bottom of the ocean. Did you see that? You think it's Prometheus? Welcome from 343 Industries, Josh Holmes. 
This is the biggest and most ambitious Halo campaign yet. Built for seamless drop-in, drop-out cooperative play, you'll control two distinct Spartan squads, one led by the Master Chief, and the other by Spartan Locke. Now, for the first time, the epic scale of Halo's campaign carries over to our multiplayer experience. With 24 players, AI-controlled adversaries, and environments that are four times the size of any previous Halo map, what you're about to see is a giant leap for Halo multiplayer, and it's playable here at E3. This is Warzone. Broken through our defenses and our bases in lockdown. Eliminate them to secure our home base. Let's go, Spartans. Put them down once and for all. Spartans are here. We got this. Xbox One, exclusive, world premiere. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Thank you. Good morning and welcome. Investing in and shipping new exclusive franchises is critical to our platform's success. We're proud to partner with Inafune san Mark Puccini, and the teams at Comcept and Armature Studios to create ReCore, 
an exclusive new first party franchise for Xbox One. At Xbox, our mission is simple, to put you, the gamers, at the center of everything we do, to build the best platform and most reliable service for both gamers and developers, and to enable teams to push the boundaries of creativity, technical innovation, and of course, fun. Today, you will see how we're continuing to invest and innovate for gamers across our platform, our service, our devices, and of course, our games. Anchored by first party exclusives, we'll see a lineup of games from creators, developers, and publishers of all sizes that show the breadth, depth, and diversity of the games you will get to play on Xbox. These games make up what I believe is the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. Since the launch of Xbox One, we've listened to you, the community of Xbox gamers, and we're grateful for your continued feedback. We continue to deliver monthly platform feature updates that enhance your gaming experience, and your response to the updates continues to motivate us. Last year, the team decided to tackle a feature that has been consistently at the top of your request list. And while we weren't sure it was possible, today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox One backward compatibility. Your Xbox 360 games, the games you've invested your time and money in, and the games you want to continue to be played, will be playable natively on your Xbox One. Our goal is to deliver the largest games catalog ever on Xbox. And Xbox One backward compatibility allows us to do just that. Please welcome Mike Ybarra, head of our platform engineering team, to show us Xbox One backward compatibility in action. Mike. Thanks, Phil. We'll have over 100 titles this holiday, with hundreds more added in the months to come. Digital Xbox 360 titles will start showing up automatically in your game library on Xbox One. And retail discs will work as well. Put your disc in, download the game, and you're ready to go. Let's take a look with one of my favorite Xbox 360 games. This is Mass Effect on Xbox One. The game runs exactly like it does on Xbox 360, but better thanks to the power of Xbox Live. Xbox, take a screenshot. You'll get to play multiplayer with your friends on Xbox 360, and you'll get to take advantage of Xbox One features like screenshots, broadcasting, game DVR, and game streaming with the Xbox app on Windows 10. We've made this easy for game developers, too. They just need to approve titles showing up. No work is required on their part to make all of this possible. An initial set of backward compatible titles are available today for Xbox preview members. It will be available for everyone this holiday. With Xbox One backward compatibility, we won't charge you to play the games you already own. Thanks, and I'll see you on Xbox Live. Thanks, Mike. Now, how you play is as important as what you play. We're incredibly proud of our Xbox One controller, but whether you're a console gamer, a PC gamer, or both, we know many of you want more more customization, more precision, and more control in your gaming experience. Let me introduce you to the Xbox Elite wireless controller coming this fall.
please welcome game director, Bethesda Game Studios, Todd Howard. Thank you so much. It is great to be back here, and even better to see so many familiar faces. We had an amazing experience on Xbox 360 doing Oblivion. From here, you'll explore the most ambitious game world that we have ever created. Thank you. Like I said, it's great to be back here working with the amazing folks at Microsoft, many of whom we've worked with for 15 years, going back to Morrowind on the original Xbox. Yeah. And you know what? We would not be here, really, without the support they gave us then and the support they give us now. But I have bugged them for the last 15 years for one feature I've wanted. Um, and working together, it's finally happening. As you know, modding is a big part of what we do. It is all about making it your own. I'm excited to announce that mods created on the PC will be able to be transferred, played, and shared. Shared for free on Xbox One. Thanks again. The game's coming out November 10th. We hope you love it. Thanks. Please welcome the Chief Operating Officer of Electronic Arts, Peter Moore. Good morning. Always great to appear on the Xbox stage, kicking off E3 with my friends and partners from Microsoft. And such exciting news from Phil that we'll be able to bring some favorite EA titles from the Xbox 360 platform to players on Xbox One via backward compatibility. Now, that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, as you know, in the last year, we built a great new service in EA Access on Xbox One. It helps you do three simple things. Play first, play more, and play for less. It's the best of EA for five bucks a month only on Xbox One. I know a lot of you out there are excited to play our next big title, Madden NFL 16, when it launches on August the 25th. Go Madden. But with EA Access, you'll be the first to play starting on August the 20th. The same goes for Need for Speed and all of our other upcoming titles. With EA Access, you're going to get to play EA's newest releases before anyone else. Members also have unlimited exclusive access to The Vault, the constantly growing collection of EA's biggest and best games for Xbox One. All of these titles you see behind me are ready to download and play as much as you want, whenever you want. And it's about to get even better because this week, we're dropping a titan on it. Titanfall is joining the EA Access Vault this week. We'll start the summer, yep, we'll start the summer with Titanfall, and then you can end it in the world of Thedas, because later this summer we're bringing the epic Dragon Age Inquisition 
to the EA Access Vault on Xbox One. Now, let's not forget, EA Access members also get 10% off in the Xbox Store on full game downloads like FIFA 16, in-game content, like FIFA Ultimate Team Packs, or the latest expansion in Battlefield. For all of you out there that would love to play first, play more, and play for less, come give EA Access a try. In fact, we're going to help you out with that. This week, in celebration of E3, we're opening up the EA Access Vault to all Xbox Live Gold members. That's right, all 12 titles. Just download the EA Access app on your Xbox One and play as much as you want for free all week long. Now, before I go, I've got some news that I think you're really going to like. Because of your passion for the insanely fun Plants vs. Zombies franchise, I'm excited to announce today Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. This will be the funniest, craziest, most over-the-top shooter experience you've ever played. We're tapping into the heart of what fans loved about the original and adding new characters, new worlds to explore, brand new ways to play, and tons more. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 arrives next spring, and here is the exclusive world premiere trailer. Thanks, everyone, and have a great E3. World premiere. Since the dawn of time, plants have protected suburbia from the zombies. But now the world has changed. Welcome to Zomburbia. <laughs> It's a racing legacy that propelled the company into 1966, when Henry Ford II, the GT40, and an international super team stunned the racing world by finishing 1-2-3 at the 24 hours of Le Mans. In the following years, the GT not only went on to defend its championship in the race of the century, it dominated the decade, becoming a legend in motorsports. The crowd cheers, the champagne bottles pop. Now, on its 50th anniversary, the GT is back. And its racing legacy lives up. Developed in a secret studio beneath Ford's engineering center, the GT's rebirth has begun. Stunning the world at the 2015 Detroit Auto Show. And in 2016, set to return and reclaim its place amongst the legends of Le Mans. This is what we've been racing for. Ladies and gentlemen, from Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford III, and from Turn 10 Studios, Dan Greenewald. Thank you. 
Xbox is the home of racing. Forza has built a reputation for innovation, quality, and dedication to its fans. Partnering with Forza allows us to bring the Ford GT to everyone. Thanks, Henry. Forza Motorsport 6 is the most beautiful, the most technically advanced, and the biggest game we've ever built. Let's take a look. Xbox One exclusive. World Premiere. told it might come to this that one day everything we ever knew could end it was a weaponized virus one by one we began to fall 
people started tearing each other apart until society as we knew it collapsed. There's an It was a signal that the normal lives we led were gone. We are activated as a last resort. We are the division. We don't know how many of us there are. Or what it will take to save what remains. But there is one thing we do know. There cannot be any hope for tomorrow if we don't fight for today. Please welcome President Ubisoft America's Laurent de Toc. Bonjour! What you just saw is footage from our next chapter in the Tom Clancy family. The Division is a deep, realistic action RPG that feels personal. This is New York. You belong in that world. You recognize it. You could be there, assuming, of course, that uh, you're a secretly trained agent which video games will make possible for you. <laughs> Our Tom Clancy games and Xbox have a shared DNA since the original Ghost Recon shipped on the very first day of the Xbox Live service. Since then, live players have been among our most passionate fans. That's why I am pleased to announce that Xbox One players will be the first ones to try The Division via an exclusive beta this December. <laughs> now, if you're an Xbox Clancy fan, I have more. On October 13, we launch Rainbow Six Siege, the next installment in the Rainbow franchise. <laughs> Think simple, fun gaming roots blessed with next-gen technology. Most players love it for the intensity. For me, it's the destructible environments that really hit the spot. When Siege comes out, fans of the series will also be able to play the full versions of award-winning Rainbow Six Vegas and Vegas 2, thanks to the backward compatibility on Xbox One. <laughs> better yet, better yet, those two games will come free with Rainbow Six Siege. So, until then, let's take a look at this groundbreaking game. Thank you. Okay, they're setting up in the plane. Drones up. Looks like bombs in the back on the right. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go. Rick, you and Shane go up top like you did last time. Right behind you. Going right. They're locking it down. I see him. Yep, two barricades on the left. Ready? Go, go, man. Use a sledge. Go. Got him. Right there. Right there. He's right on you. Throwing smoke. Let's go. Got him. Got him. Hold the wall. Planting charge. Take him out. He's right at the door. Bones in there. I'm on it. Can you tag? Three seconds. Only two seconds. I got it. I got it. All right, man. Let's go. Wait for it. Boom! They're flanking us. I'm down. Right behind that wall. Keep moving, guys. I see him. Yeah. Nice shot.
Windows 10 and Xbox One exclusive. A brawl is surely brewing. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> the director of ID at Xbox, Chris Charla. Hey, everybody. What you just saw was a sampling of the titles coming from the more than 1,000 independent developers making Xbox One and Windows games as part of the ID at Xbox program. You know, enabling creators to realize their visions and deliver incredible new experiences to Xbox players around the world is what the ID at Xbox program is all about. And it's been awesome to see the level of critical and commercial success developers have already had on Xbox. And we're really just at the start. Now, I'd like to introduce you to some amazing creators whose games are going to be debuting exclusively on Xbox One. Hi, I'm Steve Gaynor from Fulbright. When we created Gone Home, we wanted to tell a very small, personal story. So we created a game that took place entirely in one family's house. But with our next game, Tacoma, we wanted to push ourselves to explore new ideas and new frontiers. What is life like in a place that's completely unfamiliar to you and me? A place that's beyond the bounds of Earth? And what has happened to the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma? Control. Come in. Control. Hello? Odin, where is the crew? That information has been classified. Odin, what am I going to find behind this door? Hi, 
Hi, I'm Derek Bradley from Aurora 44. Our small team in New Zealand has set out to create a harsh, open world to explore, one where it's up to you to determine who is friend and who is foe, in a place where player-to-player -player relationships are key to survival. But who to trust, who to fight, and who to run away from are all decisions you must make for yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Sherida from Tiger and Squid. Beyond Eyes is the story of Ray, a young girl who for the first time in her life has to leave the safety of her childhood home and go explore the outside world. But being blind, Ray has to visualize the world through other senses, such as hearing, touch and smell. I made Beyond Eyes because I wanted to share with the world a story of hope. If we embrace the challenges that life throws at us, and if we open ourselves up to new experiences, it can be a beautiful world. Hi, I'm Chad from Studio MDHR, and this is my brother Jared. A few years ago, when we first sat down to sketch Cuphead, we had no idea that character would eventually be the star of his own Xbox game. At that point, the only thing we were certain of is that we wanted our game to have the look of a 1930s cartoon and the precision of a classic 16-bit platformer. With the help of Microsoft, we have brought our sketch to life. Today, we are excited to give everyone a quick peek into the world of Cuphead. That's rad. Um, 
Those last four titles really show the breadth of experiences that independent developers are bringing to Xbox One today. And we'd like to really thank those creators for joining us on stage and sharing a peek at the experiences they'll be bringing to Xbox One and Windows 10. Now, I'd like to talk about a new pilot program we're launching for independent developers called Xbox Game Preview. Game Preview is a new type of offering that lets gamers buy and play a selection of games while they're still in active development. It enables the community to get involved and even help shape the final outcome with their feedback. So this type of early access gaming is already popular on PC, and we're excited to offer it to our players. But we want to make sure it comes to console in a way that makes sense. So every game in the program has a free trial, so you can play it and then make an educated decision on whether you want to jump in early or wait and see how development progresses. We'll be launching a select number of games into the Xbox Game Preview over the next year, including the following titles. The Long Dark by Hinterlands, Sheltered from Unicube, Elite Dangerous from Frontier, and Daisy from Bohemia Interactive. <laughs> Pretty cool. If you'd like to join the Xbox Game Preview community and get involved, you can do it starting today. Later this afternoon, The Long Dark and Elite Dangerous will be available for download on your Xbox One. Please give them a try. Can't wait to hear what you think. Now, before I go, I'd like to welcome to the stage one of the true visionaries of early access game development to talk about his new IP, which is going to be launching exclusively on PC and Xbox One. Please welcome the creator of Daisy, Dean Hall. I want a game that is not a game. I want a game that is a universe. A universe built not on scripts or quests, but on the laws of physics, biology, and chemistry. A simulation MMO that explores mankind's expansion into space. The chance to be a pioneer in a harsh universe, swamped with the risk of death, yet peppered with the havens of fortune. For the past year, I have been working with the technology company Improbable to turn my long-term prototype into a reality. It worked. We are the architects of this new universe, but you, the players, through Xbox One Game Preview and PC will govern its destiny. Not again. Every time. Ladies and gentlemen, from Crystal Dynamics, game director, Brian Horton. I'm thrilled to be here today on behalf of the entire team at Crystal Dynamics to demo the world premiere gameplay of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Xbox exclusive, holiday 2015.
This might be the kind of godforsaken place that I do it. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Back up! dwells in the darkness of this place, but I've got to continue. I finally feel a sense of purpose again. Like I'm doing what I was meant to do. Some kind of marker. The journey will be perilous, but I must 
Xbox One exclusive. You never forget your first game. And the more of them you play, the more of them you love. Every memory is a story to cherish and share. We fought back monsters, soared across the stars, achieved the impossible. We were heroes. There were games that blew us apart, and games that brought us together. Whether you're reliving childhood memories, or discovering classics for the first time, you'll see why the best stories will never be forgotten. Welcome, Studio Head, Rare, Craig Johnson. 2015 marks the 30th anniversary of Rare, and we wanted to celebrate by giving Rare fans an iconic collection of Rare games. <laughs> One of the things that Rare has done consistently over three decades is evolve as a studio. Rare has redefined genres with its own special formula, and we're ready to do that again. Today, I'm proud to give you a first look at a new exclusive game from Rare, a game that will allow our players to have unique and memorable adventures together, a shared world adventure game. Set in a fantastical world, this game will bring players together and give them the freedom to play with limitless possibilities. This is by far the most ambitious game Rare has ever created. Xbox One exclusive world premiere.
Xbox One and Windows 10 exclusive. Let me tell you a story of a world of great beauty, full of promise, full of magic, and lately, full of adventurers. Eager to explore. Eager to tell a story of their own. But this is not a story of heroes. They are intruders. In a land that does not want them. of heroes, hungry for what they don't have, obsessed with their legends. But this is not their story, and I will end their little fairy tale. Joining us from Microsoft Studios, Kudo Tsunoda. Games like Fable Legends show our commitment to putting fans and gamers at the center of everything we do. Legends is free to play on both Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs. This means Fable fans running Windows 10 will be able to play with their fellow gamers on Xbox One. Anything you earn or buy on one version of the game becomes part of the experience on the other. And if you love gaming, more is coming. Windows allows developers to push the boundaries of creativity, to deliver gamers experiences they will love, from console gaming to PC gaming, even virtual reality gaming. Today, we are proud to announce a new relationship with Valve VR. We'll be working closely with Valve to make Windows 10 the best platform for VR gaming. And last week, we were on the Oculus stage announcing a partnership with Oculus. The Xbox One controller will be included with every Oculus Rift at launch. This puts our high-precision gaming controller at the center of VR gaming. And Xbox One games will be playable on Oculus Rift. By streaming Xbox One games to Rift, through Windows 10, gamers can play the games they love on the newest devices. Microsoft's also pioneering a new era of holographic computing, an era of mixed reality, the ability to bring holograms into your real world. In January, we unveiled Microsoft HoloLens, the world's first untethered holographic computer powered by Windows 10. Holograms mixed with your real world unlocks all new experiences, freed from the boundaries of your screens. So far, we have shown new ways for people to create, to communicate, to work, and to learn. Today, we are very excited to show you how Microsoft HoloLens can change the world of gaming. To show you how it works, let me introduce brand director at Mojang, Lydia Winters. Lydia? Thanks, Kuda. Four years ago at E3, I met the Mojang team for the very first time. Soon after, I joined them on this unbelievable adventure. This game has changed millions of lives, including my own. In the past five years, we've been blown away by the amount of people who have been playing our game. The community's incredible creativity has taken Minecraft into places we never could have imagined. Every day, we see new and exciting things being made. On July 4th and 5th in London, we are going to have the biggest Minecraft celebration in the world at MineCon 2015. 
We can't wait to share more with the community there and be inspired by their ideas. We're always trying to harness new technology and create new ways of playing the game. With that in mind, please let me welcome Zach Spearson from Microsoft Studios, and we're excited to be able to show a new version of Minecraft built specifically for Microsoft HoloLens. Thank you, Lydia. To show our demo today, we're using a special camera. This display technique is like putting a HoloLens right on the camera itself, allowing the entire audience to see the holograms. Now, this is a live demo with real working code. Let's show what it can do. You can play the Minecraft you know today on HoloLens. Zach's grabbed his Xbox controller to play through a giant holographic portal into a 3D Minecraft world right on the wall. Even though I don't have a HoloLens, I'm able to play together with Sax from my Surface. Are you going to come join my game, Lydia? I'm in now. I see you, jumping around. One of the cool things about HoloLens is that it lets you display Minecraft virtually anywhere. You can get different perspectives on your Minecraft world. It's awesome to play with the controller, but could we show them something new, Sax? Sure. Let's take our experience off the wall and then put it on the table over here. Create world. I see Lydia way up there. As I run around and play, Zax can easily navigate and manip manipulate the world using his voice and his hands. He can walk around the hologram, pan around for different viewpoints, and even look inside. Let's follow Lydia around for a bit. Follow player. I can zoom in and out for a better perspective. Closer. All the way in. Close up. What are you up to, Lydia? I'm hopping in a minecart. Let's take a ride down to the village. We're going to pick a different perspective. Overview. It's incredibly cool to have Minecraft on your table. Imagine seeing your own worlds like this. crazy that I see Sax just standing at the table, but through the HoloLens, he can see a whole Minecraft universe at his fingertips. You can even raise the entire world and see things that are normally hidden way underneath the ground. Could you give us a sneak peek of what's under that village, Sax? Sure. I'm gonna grab the world, lift it up, and let's see what's hiding underneath Lydia. Ooh. Huge stronghold right underneath. I'm gonna mark that for you. Mark that. But you're gonna have to find a way to break in. I see it, I'm on my way there now. I'm blazing some TNT so I can blow my way into this stronghold. I, I could use a light though, Sax. Good strategy. Using HoloLens, I have access to all console commands in Minecraft just using my voice. But um, I can just focus my gaze on the TNT and say, lightning strike. Step back. <laughs> Whoa. There's a lot of materials down there I wouldn't have seen without you. Well, there's one more thing I want to do with lightning. I see a pig pen over here. I think the pigs need an upgrade. Do it. Lightning strike. There you have it, zombie pigmen. From playing Minecraft on your wall to an entire world right on your table, Microsoft HoloLens gives the community a different way to play in the world they already love. We will have even more Minecraft news to share at MineCon in a few weeks. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, Gears of War co-creator, Rod Ferguson. Ten years ago, Gears of War debuted here at the Xbox E3 briefing. And this year, we're taking you back to where it all began. Today, I'm happy to announce Gears of War Ultimate Edition. The original Gears of War completely remastered and modernized for Xbox One in coming August 25th. It's the first at its best, fully rebuilt in 1080p, loaded with new content and 60 frames per second in multiplayer. And you can play that multiplayer early in our one week public beta that starts today. So tune in to the Xbox Daily Live from E3 this afternoon to learn more. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. I, I wanted to give you a taste of something else we're working at at the Coalition. Thank you. Xbox One exclusive world premiere. Looks like it went this way. Come on. Hey, what's up? No need to worry just yet. And keep watching. That thing could be anywhere. safe? Yeah, it's just rainwater. Yeah, with stuff floating in it. Let's assume I'll live. Tell me you heard that. Now we find out if that thing's safe. Okay. Son of a... 
I think I shorted out my flashlight. Great. Well, you're glowing now, so that's good. Well, let's just get the hell out of here. Touch the pods. Let's just clear this courtyard. There! Come on! Through the door! Yeah, go! On. Okay, you're a big fella. Easy now. Oh, that's not good. Welcome back, Bill Spencer. It's great to have Gears of War back on our Xbox stage, to see Gears of War, War gameplay running real time on Xbox One, and to see my friend Rod Ferguson at the helm. Today, we showed you the greatest games lineup in Xbox history. New and innovative games that speak to the boundless creativity from studios around the world. Blockbuster franchises you know and love trailblazing independent games from a new wave of creators who are redefining game development and game play, all anchored by the best exclusives on any platform. Xbox is the only place where you can play Gears of War, Fable Legends, Forza Motorsport 6, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and of course, Halo 5 Guardians all this year. Th This lineup is supported by Xbox Live and our commitment to make your gaming experience better. With an expanded library of games with backward compatibility, new gaming hardware and accessories, access to great games first with EA Access, next generation virtual and mixed reality gaming experience, and access to games in early development with the Game Preview Program. There truly has never been a better time to be an Xbox gamer. If you've been waiting to move from your Xbox 360, now is the time. Today, we've shared only a fraction of what's coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 this holiday and next. We have more surprises in store this week on the Xbox Daily Show, including the unveil of a whole new Xbox One user experience and more new games coming to Xbox One. This summer, we look forward to bringing exciting features from Xbox Live and some of our most popular Xbox games and experiences to Windows 10 when it launches this July 29th. And at Gamescom in August, you'll see the latest from Quantum Break, Scalebound, Crackdown, and new first-party game reveals. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's your expectation, 
your dedication and your passion for games that motivates and inspires not only me, but every single member of Team Xbox. Thank you.